Um, hi, hello everyone. Uh, welcome to the Studio Talks. Uh, this is Studio Talks number 12. Uh, and I'm sharing here the behind the scenes of my creative art business, behind the scenes of my studio practice. Um, and I'm sharing things that I learned or um, that are worth sharing. Uh, in the fields of creativity, I don't know, creative business and things like this. Uh, so this is normally a, uh, a live on Instagram. Um, and actually, I already uh, recorded this live. I performed this live uh, a few days ago, but it didn't save. Uh, and I really want to put also everything on the blog and on YouTube so that people can come back to that. That's why I'm re-recording uh, the same studio talks um, that was already live. And today we will talk also about fear of failing. Um, this is the topic that uh, I chose because I asked you, uh, people uh, who follow me on Instagram, what are you struggling the most in your creative life? And um, you answered that fear of failing. Uh, so I thought I will share a little bit uh, of my perspective on that and a few thoughts about it. Uh, so, my name is Victoria Florek. Um, for those of you who don't know, know me, I'm an abstract painter, a, a, cre a creative entrepreneur. Uh, I also have family, I'm a mom uh, of a little um, toddler of uh, 16 months. And I'm also, um, of course, a wife. <laughs> Uh, well, not of course, it's probably not that obvious. <laughs> and what else? I live in Spain, close to Barcelona, uh, in Sabadell, which is 20 kilometers uh, outside of Barcelona. Um, originally, I'm from Poland and I'm also an auditor. Uh, so behind the scenes, uh, what's going on in my studio? Or what happened in the last two weeks? And honestly, um, in the last two weeks, uh, there was not much going on um, because, uh, why? Because we are staying at home, I'm staying, I'm a mom, a full-time mom and that's my main uh, task. And actually every day is a little bit of a survivor, survival. <laughs> and I, um, I really, really try um, not to go crazy. Um, yesterday, no, two days ago on Sunday was the first time uh, we could go for a walk with, uh, with kids. So my daughter Vega was at home, uh, for six weeks without going out at all. Um, you can imagine it's a challenge, but, um, if I had a moment of time, uh, and energy, of course, uh, there were two things uh, I was focusing on. Uh, so first thing, uh, I'm working on uh, workshops for creatives uh, that I'm really, really excited about. Um, those will be a growth workshops for people who really want to take their creative life into um, another level of self-awareness. We will work uh, on self-confidence, self-awareness, on the mindset, like uh, the mindset that really serves you as a creative. Um, we will work on uh, your vision uh, and, you know, um, trying to really build that growth uh, mm, as a creative, you know. So that will be a very beautiful, beautiful and amazing workshops. Uh, and uh, they are now in the design phase. I'm still kind of, uh, you know, figuring out exactly what to include there uh, so that it really the serves uh, you the best, serves those who will uh, want to sign up. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'm really, really excited about that project. It's actually something I was, uh, that was on my mind for a very, very long time. Um, and it, it's finally, you know, um, going live almost. Now it will go live probably somewhere in June, but I'm not sure yet. Uh, for sure when 
all this finishes and when my daughter will go back to um to the nursery because otherwise i will not be able to perform it um so this is the first thing that i'm working on and then if i have uh additional time you know i'm painting a little bit it's not really you know the format that i like because i really love painting big big but i have this uh kind of art journal or i don't know art um uh, something and i'm really you know painting in here trying out new things in my art because as uh if you know my art you know that i was not uh very geometric and now i go a little a little bit in including some geometric forms and it's basically um because i changed the medium and um at home i don't like to paint with paints uh because uh it just you know messes um up a lot and i mess up i really mess up a lot when i paint and i laugh mess i love that freedom that i don't have to you know um really watch um the surroundings and the environment and of course at home i cannot do that so i really prefer not to paint with paint uh, and i'm actually painting with different types of uh, um, markers uh, so obviously i'm a little bit um, limited with that medium and that's why um, there are all those forms that uh, Kind of appear right now like more you know um i use more lines and dots and you know squares and stuff like that um here i used a little bit of paint but very cautiously um so yeah i really like this one and then i have another one that i love also a lot this is something new for me um but i really it's very minimalist with color and, and form. So, you know, playing a little bit and really um, trying to work uh, with that constraint of a marker medium. Uh, and that's that's challenging, but also exciting. And I really uh, enjoy the effects and, you know, learning from that a lot. Mm, so that's uh, what's going on in the studio. Let's go to the fear of failing. Um, what is actually a failure? Um, I believe that a failure doesn't really exist. It just exists somewhere in our head uh, because a failure is an expectation that is not met. And, you know, it all depends on the perspective that we have on that expectation. Uh, and if we really focus on the result, we may feel um, that we failed or we may feel uh, afraid of failing and not really achieving and, you know, um, fulfilling that expectation, whether it's expectation towards us, towards a certain result or uh, expectation of someone else. Um, or our imagination and our um, our view of what is the expectation of someone else uh, on us. Like, for example, what will my parents tell? What will others tell? And so on and so on. So, uh, let me go for my notes. <laughs> Guys, I'm not editing this video at all because I really hate editing and also I don't have time so uh, it's really as if it was a life uh, okay so it will be like this on <laughs> um, on YouTube and on the blog um, so yes um, just one uh, thing before before I jump and dive deeper into that everything I will say now is based on my own experience and based on my um, my beliefs and my opinion this is my opinion based on my experience and uh, it's not objective it's obviously totally subjective you may have different views and you may have also different experiences because we are all, all different i try to repeat it always uh when i share my point of view um and uh please uh you know be open 
uh, take from what I'm saying what you resonate with and what serves you. Um, not all of it may resonate with you and that's totally fine and maybe even things that don't resonate with you will um, actually help you realize uh, what are other things that would resonate with you better. Uh, so it's all kind of also learning and things we don't agree with also tells us tells us a little bit uh, or reaffirms us in things that we believe. So, uh, so it's, uh, you know, it's all always fine, <laughs> whatever you think and whatever you believe. Mm. So, mm. what to do if we actually have that fear of failure, um, knowing that this failure is actually an expectation, try to look um, as that expect, uh, at that expectation from a point of view of an external consultant and analyze um, deeper what that expectation really is, what does it mean to you, and I will give you an example of my um, expectation for example so when I was just starting out I had an expectation that within 16 months I will make a living as a full-time artist uh, out of my art uh, and um, I was working very hard towards that but as months were passing by uh, I was not getting the results um, that would actually get me any closer to that expectation and that objective and um, within time I started really um, to experience that fear and anxiety that maybe um, I would not be able to um, get there and if I don't mm, you know succeed I will have to go back to work and that would be the, the biggest fa failure and you know I, in my head I would feel very humiliated and I wouldn't feel a real artist <laughs> uh, and what will other thing that I started you know um, that big project and following my dream and you know talking about my vocation and that I wanted to paint and then after um, that time I go back to job uh, so that was really scary and I couldn't really manage that fear and that anxiety at that time and what happened is that I spent many many months um, with that fear and anxiety and then those 16 months passed and I didn't really achieve my goal so I had to get a job um, I was fortunate enough to uh, get a freelance job as an auditor which is so flexible that really allows me um, combine painting and that job which is uh, amazing and excellent and I'm so grateful for that right now but at that moment it really felt like a failure and um, I was also failing um, failing. I was also afraid of what others will think about me and um, that, you know, they will look at me as um, you know, as if I failed <laughs> uh, and the fact is that it really didn't happen. People actually around me, the closest to me, were really proud of me, really proud of what I achieved uh, but I didn't see it that way. I didn't feel like I, achieve, I achieved anything because I, for me, achievement would be like that goal. And since I didn't manage to meet that goal, that was a failure. Mm, so um, the problem here for me uh, in this example was my perspective on that expectation and really focusing only on the result, on the final goal and final result that I uh, wanted to achieve, I totally ignored everything that happened on the way and all little steps that I made towards my goal and everything I did because I was really working hard and hustling and um, uh, so my videos stopped because I didn't have enough space on my iPhone. Um, let's continue. Um, so uh, from my experience, I've noticed that uh, in my case, uh, there were a couple of enemy expectations that were making me feel like failure or fearing um, failure. And first um, is to not give myself enough time uh, to achieve what I want to achieve. 
so like in my example I gave myself only 16 months to live out of my art uh, and that was basically not enough um, because I was starting from scratch and I had to learn so much about the art world, about painting, uh, about myself, what I really want to paint and you know get to know myself that self-discovery journey was um, long and took me not 16 months it actually took me a um, couple of years um, and I recently started um, really defining and having that clarity of who am I what I'm actually wanting uh, to um, um, to communicate with my art what I want to why I want to paint why am I painting um, it all was somewhere deep inside me, but it was very difficult for me to actually um, have that focus and the clarity. Uh, so not enough time uh, for my goals. My goals being a bit too big uh, and the time too short, uh, excuse me, and the time too short to, um, to achieve it. Um, what else? Uh, Comparing myself to others that are way uh, further than me in their careers and wanting to get there um, also too quickly and you know having that feeling that I will never achieve it that there are so many things that I need to do there are so many things that they are doing and you know I kind of cannot uh, manage because I don't have enough experience. Mm, so really taking little steps instead of uh, instead of wanting all at the same time and also um, my lesson is that never ever compare myself to someone that is much more advanced in their career because you know I'm at a different position and I I cannot it's like comparing pears and apples um, and even learning from people who are too further uh, is uh, it's not a good um, good thing. And I uh, was uh, often frustrated because I couldn't implement everything that people I admired were um, explaining or teaching. It was just too much for me, uh, too much because I was at different stage. So it's always better to compare someone that is just one or two steps ahead. Uh, and that's what I'm trying to do now. And every time I'm um, fascinated by, by someone that is uh, very far uh, from where I am, I try to um, kind of uh, have that distance and don't uh, upset myself too much or overwhelm with how much work I still need to do in order to get where, where they are. Uh, so really, never compare yourself to someone that is uh, at a different stage than you because that will only upset and uh, and it, it will it, it's not constructive um, at least for me perfectionism so trying to be perfect and trying to do everything perfect and you know expecting that painting to be perfect uh, expecting that video to be perfect or whatever you're doing mm, you know perfect doesn't actually exist uh, because uh, always the next video, the next um, the next painting will be better than the one before. Um, so really just uh, accept that, accepting that what I did right now is the best I can do um, at that moment and that the next thing I will do will be just better. Desire to make expectations of others. Uh, in my case, it was also um, a little bit in my head, not very much related to um, reality or totally disconnected from the reality. It really, it, it was really something that was uh, born in my head and stayed there. Um, mm, and I think that may apply or you may resonate um, that we often think like, what others will think, what uh, you know, what our parents will think, what our friends will think about what we are doing, uh, about our progression, about where we are, and how fast is our is our career moving, and and so on and so on. Uh, so my experience is that 
Um, I never got um, any negative feedback. Uh, actually, the, the other way around, like people around me were proud of what I'm doing. They were often inspired by what I'm doing. Uh, and that was something that I had to learn, to, to look a little bit at myself um, with more uh, self-appreciation and with less um, expectations and with less, um, with less, um, not to be so harsh on myself. Um, so those were the enemy expectations that I uh, was facing and that were creating that fear and anxiety and a sense of failure uh, if I didn't achieve them. Um, and actually the truth is that the only uh, people who never make mistakes, who never fail in what they pursue are those who do nothing. Um, so if you're a creative, if you are creating, if you are following, um, you know, your heart and, um, most probably your path is something that is, um, uh, still not very well defined because it's defining itself as you go. That's the life of a creative a little bit. We live in a lot of uncertainty in a lot of, um, in the circumstances of unknown, um, and it's normal that it can create that anxiety and fear of failure. Uh, but realizing that being in that unknown um, actually gives us even more right to fail and make that mistakes. And it's only because of that mistakes and because of that failures that we can learn and we can uh, draw conclusions. Uh, and in order to draw that conclusions, what we need to focus on is to focus on um, on you know once once we failed at something to analyze it uh, as if we were external consultants just what i mentioned at the beginning you know look at everything we did at all all our actions um Try to think like what happened, what 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 worked well, what didn't work, why it didn't work, like for how long I was doing it, um, for how long others are doing uh, similar things until they get results, um, how many people um, I don't know uh, were aware of what I'm doing, like if you are I don't know sharing some content. Uh, how did you promote that content? Because you may think, okay, no one um, watched it or no one bought that painting. Okay, but how many people actually saw that painting? To how many people that video arrived? Was it enough uh, or not? And uh, uh, so looking at your actions from a perspective on an external consultant and really sit down and take that time to, uh, to kind of you know, um, stand next to yourself and not be so attached to um, to your result. Uh, so that, that really works and that helped me a lot. Uh, and the last thing, focus on your actions and on your efforts and not that much on the result because that will actually really help you appreciate your efforts and celebrate, uh, celebrate yourself because uh, you know, we put so much love and so much effort into what we are doing and many times we don't see the results we want to see. Uh, so it's very easy to be mm, dissatisfied and hard on yourself and not, um, mm, not appreciating it. Uh, but what, what will really serve you is to appreciate it. And, you know, uh, probably all of you know this book, Big Magic. So here there is one sentence that I want to read uh, to um, mm, to kind of make a conclusion. 
You can measure your worth by your dedication to your path, not by your successes or failures. So really measure your worth uh, by your dedication and by your effort and not the successes or um, failures and celebrate all your efforts. Um, that's really, really important. Um, so that's it for today. Thank you so much. Um, I hope it was useful. So guys, now write down uh, two uh, main lessons from this episode uh, and implement them. Uh, for me, the lesson number one, uh, and I need to keep reminding myself of that lesson, is to focus on my efforts and celebrate uh, the efforts I put into um, getting my results. And lesson number two is not to get that attached to my expectations. Uh, so uh, share with me your lessons if you feel like. I would really love to um, read them. You can write them in the comments below. And um, that's it for today. For those, of un for those of you who would be interested in uh, the growth workshops for artists and painting workshops for artists and creatives, not, not only artists, like creatives in general, um, you can sign up to the list uh, of, in um, of people who are interested in and I will notify you when the doors are open. Um, it will be opening somewhere in June probably. Uh, but if you sign up to the list, you will make sure that um, you will not miss that. Um, and then you will be able to decide if that's the right fit for you or not. Uh, so no commitment at all. Of course, this is just, you know, a list of uh, interest, let's say. Um, so again, thank you so much and wish you a beautiful uh, day. Bye bye.